So if you look at the sketch, um, the right hand side of the saw, we can see the handle, and the handle is usually made from a durable material, such as a, a hardwood or a plastic. So that's long lasting because in a school setting, they will be dropped or chipped or something will happen. So they need to be made of material that will last. Um, on the handle, in order to connect the handle to the blade, there are screws and rivets, and um, they tighten the handle against the blade to make sure it's, it's, it's nice and secure. Uh, moving on then to the blade. The blade itself is made from a high carbon steel and generally has um, 25 teeth per 25 or 15 teeth per 25 mil. Um, then moving on to this brass uh, line at the top of it, up top of the sketch, which is called your brass stiffening rib, and the function of that is to stiffen and to um, strengthen the blade when you're using it. So if you go down now to the very bottom of this slide, you can see a picture of um, the blade cutting through a piece of wood. And what that is representing is that on a tenon saw, the teeth are actually set wider on the blade, which is different to a lot of saws. So when you make a cut, what that is there for is when you make a cut, it'll make a wider gap down your blade so that the blade doesn't get stuck or jammed, doesn't uh, bind material or anything like that. So what you have to be aware of, if you look at the image on the right, is when you're making a cut, to always cut on the way side of the line that you've marked. Because if you cut on the line, it'll cut a little bit on the on the way side, but also a little bit on the piece that the side that you want. And you don't want that because your your joints will be loose, and um, it won't be accurate. So you have to remember that there will be that it will be a curve, uh, which is what that's called. So that's what that bit there is called.